This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I did a video a little while back about sort of my favorite presets for Helix and I thought it helped a few people kind of get their way through the folder. Of course there are hundreds and hundreds of presets so I figured this morning why not kind of try and do like a greatest hits of the HX Stomp. Um, in the comments you might want to leave some of your other favorites if you use any of my presets but I thought I'd start off with this one, Jewel Jazz Tone, which has been the thing that I use for kind of clean tones with a hollow body fur. A lovely kind of soft attack to it um, and pretty much sounds good with any guitar I found. Um, it's also a, a kind of 3.5 version which you could make use of because that will allow you to do some other things if you wanted to. Now uh, I think probably my number one preset that I use most of the time still would be something Eric Lead based. Um, this was initially uh, designed to, to sound sort of vaguely like Eric Johnson without using any of the actual gear that Eric Johnson uses um, and I've got kind of this one's a three preset a uh, three snapshot thing we've got sort of clean <laughs> uh, we've got kind of gained up In the middle we've got our really screw 
So it was initially designed to get in that Eric Johnson kind of ballpark. I don't know whether it's successful or not, but it has ended up being a thing that I use almost all the time. This one is sort of interesting for a couple of reasons. Um, but the idea here was to use the uh, Lone Star Mesa Boogie. For some kind of really just straightforward amp tones without too much fuss. Uh A relatively recent one but might be worth having a look at and having a play with this is one that I returned to um, after a long absence but it used to be uh, this part here was based on like uh, a Fender uh, reverb tank and then this part here was based initially on a match I think with a, a carrier tone and you end up with kind of So that's the, the lead tone, and then the clean has a bit more reverb. Okay, then we've got the matchless uh, kind of preset. And again, this was based on the idea of having something that could work for gigs, um, but also kind of re-updated for, for the firmware 3.5. <laughs> Uh, it's not snapshot based though, clearly. Uh, the idea here is to use these switches, so either the drive to add a bit more of a drive. <laughs> but stays fully in that kind of sweet spot of being able to clean up definitely worth a look um, then this one is a bit of a weirder one but the idea was to kind of try and match the blue sky now the moment I've not necessarily found a great way to get this to sit in the mix without getting quite mid heavy but That's the idea with that one. Um, then this is another one of the kind of effects based ones that you've probably seen me talk about, but the ones with Chase Bliss in front of them mean that on the expression pedal you've got, so if you turn the expression pedal all the way down, it's just a straightforward. 
amp tone, but if you put the expression pedal down, you can hear. some really interesting things so i like to use those for kind of um there's an acoustic one as well but just to maybe start off a tune get some inspiration and in, uh, those work really nicely spank lead is another recent one um, which kind of adds to my favorite lead tone with the litigator or one of uh, also a bit of the route 66 um <laughs> This one is snapshot based, so if you go into snapshot two, you get a bit more gain. But I think snapshot three is my favorite for that mid. Just very pretty then this one I think might have been uh, this is in the expression folder the idea with this with the expression down you have just this kind of big sound like that and then can freeze with an expression pedal it's not snapshot based but we do have a tube screamer here endless fun um, but yeah the freeze bundle specifically has those in I won't put this in the greatest hits folder because you know uh, so JC match the 35 again this is another match the space preset and the cool thing with this one is that we got both amp models in there so we could Between both of them uh, really nice and then um, I think that about covers it other things I think this one here I, I really like for kind of 80 that sort of thing you know um, like whether it's 1975 type stuff You know, can do that sort of thing quite nicely, and I think it's got a delay there if we need it. But useful for that sort of thing. Um, other things that I really like effect wise, this kind of thing, uh, just. Just really great little effect things. DC30 Deluxe Stomp as well is one of the cool ones. Um, I may update some of these as well. Um, 
Um, but I think that probably covers enough for this particular video. Halo and Fender, I think this one is a, a, a Patreon only preset. This kind of blends in that uh, Andy Timmon kind of effect with my other kind of cool So yeah, I think that probably covers enough that you could get some fun out of it. There's also these kind of ones that are in the folder, but... That's just an example of some of the, the stuff that it's in my folders. Um, you can get the link for those on Gumroad. Uh, you know, it's five pound, I think, and for an ever-growing folder. Um, if you bought way back in like 2019 or something, I'd encourage you maybe to, to buy again because it's obviously taken me loads of time to put these together. I'm trying to keep them as cheap as I can so that almost anyone can buy them. But um, yeah, if you want to help out in that way, you could. And uh, yeah, if you've got the old link and you bought ages ago, then maybe you could consider jumping back in um but yeah i'll catch you in another video soon and cheers for now